hello there. Welcome to Curious DIY. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a coffee filter kit because we all love coffee, we all love caffeine, we're all excited and full of energy. Anyways, let's jump straight into our coffee filter kit. So get your packaging ready. Um, we're going to crack this thing open in a second. And this is pretty much the basic version of what we're going to be heading into today. So get excited and let's go straight in. Great, let's get stuck in. So this is the filter coffee technology project kit. Um, this is all the contents over here at the back and in the brief instruction as we will go through now. Be sure to stick to some of the de um, design criteria. Um, so obviously one of them being watching this YouTube video, so you clearly are doing that. But be sure to continue to stick to this throughout the video. So let's give this guy an open. Alright, so inside your kit is a couple of the inserts. This is just obviously the packaging with a little bit of information that you would need. You're going to have an instruction guide and this is what we're going to follow now in this video. You're going to have a piece of cardboard just in case you need it for whatever the reason. Of course you've got some coffee which is the good stuff, let's not lie. Alright, we've also got a Perspex profile. This is going to be what we're going to assemble to then make the base of our coffee filter. You've got some filter paper. This is a material called Voil, V-O-I-L-E, Voil, and this is uh, going to be what will, will be the net which attaches to our base plate, just to hold the coffee filter in place. We've also got a thread bobbin with some uh, cotton thread as well as a needle, just be careful not to, to hurt yourself, it should be neatly tucked away into the kit. And then finally, one of my favorite things about these kits, the Curious sticker, so be, feel free to put this anywhere you want. Um, whether it be on your uh, on your parents' bumper car, obviously ask them first. Whether it's on your door, your pencil case, go to town. I'm gonna put mine on the bottom of my compass. Boom! Ain't that cool? Come on! Alrighty, sweet. So let's jump in. So for now, we can put these to the side. We no longer need them today. Those are done with. This we can uh, put aside for later. This as well. We won't need that just yet. And of course, this cardboard piece we won't need for for now. Now, on the on the profile, there is a Perspex protective layer um, or a, an acrylic pr a pr protective layer. You can peel this off. It's very satisfying. So just do that for all of them. Great, so now we've taken all of the little pieces off, these few last little pieces, no need to worry about those. These little pieces you can push out and put to the side, you, won't, you will not need these. When you're working with your, with your acrylic, be very careful not to snap any of the smaller pieces. Keep everything together and as uh, compact as possible um, without anything getting out of hand or anything breaking. I'm just going to gently push all the pieces out of the profile. Again, being careful not to break the outer rims. Those are very brittle, so be, be very, very slow with this process. All right, and then these two rings, you must separate very carefully. There's two little joining pieces on the sides. So all you gotta do is just twist them the opposite directions. Right. Now our, our rings are kind of separated, they're just being held together by two pieces. So we're just gonna spin this like so and get it out. There we go. So let's go back to our, our instruction guide. We have just done the first step, which is to peel off the protective layer um, and separate the pieces. So these we can now put to the side. All right. so let's go into step two. We're going to take the voil. We're going to fold it in half so that it, it makes a shape which matches the coffee filter. 
And then using the thread and needle, we're going to now sew um, the parts of it shut. You can see on the filter paper, it's sealed at the bottom and on the side. We're going to, to do the same thing, except in this picture, it's on the top and the left. That's totally fine. Just want to get some thread out. And give it a lick. Then we have to go through the needle. Then very carefully thread the needle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unwrap the rest of the bobbin or the, a lot of the bobbin. And then I'm going to pull the thread to be at the bottom of the, of the thread that I've just made. So about that length, this is about 60 centimeters should be fine. So I'm going to actually just break it here and put the rest of the thread to the side. Great. Then on the end of the, the threads where they join together, I'm going to tie a knot. Nice big knot. It's not a very neat one. My, mis my apologies. See if I can get this to close a little bit. No, not today. Okay, but it is at least a big knot, which is a great start. So here's what you can do. By starting on the edge where the seam is, or where the fold is, should I say, by starting here and moving outwards, we just tie the knot over here. So here it's gonna be strongest, which is where a lot of the pressure is going to be. We're just going to do some simple threads. So I'm in this case gonna fold it through and then put it back through the loop. And then by pulling on this side, the whole knot is going to go down there. It's going to meet at this point over here. So now we've got the knot down there and then just alternate weaving it in and out. So weave it through and through. Keeping about half a centimeter from the edge always a good amount. You can pull it tight every now and then. Okay, obviously keep it neat, unlike what I've just done. <laughs> Let's see, well, this, is this salvageable? Okay, now back to the needle. Be careful not to stab your fingers in this process. and now we're on the corner so from here we're going to start going up the side of the filter you can keep it as tight as you want if you want to have quite big stitches like mine that also is fine, it will still do the same job. All right, and I think this is pretty much my last stitch. I'm gonna come through, and before I pull it, I'm gonna loop it through the, through the thread, get it tight. Same thing again, but 
give it through and through the loop and pulling it tight. Great, so it's at this point that you would need to get some scissors to be able to clip the rest of the thread off. You can just cut it over there, that is perfectly long enough. And be very careful with the needle, putting it to the side for later on. No, look, look how the, the scissors affects the compass, fascinating. Great, so now we have our, th our, our filter paper, we can now turn it inside out, so all the stitching is on the inside. And we now have got a neat little filter that we've just made ready for, to be attached to our um, the rest of the model let's put that over there for now <laughs> Great, so now following step three, we want to attach the, um, the cloth filter holder um, around the ring. So what we want to do is to get um, the smaller ring. We're going to put the cloth filter through it and then wrapping the cloth filter around it like so. And then placing the large ring on the outside. go so you can put it flat on the table just to clip it in place and that is pretty much good to go if you want to just pull some of the thread out just a little bit you may need to uh, loosen the ring and then just pull it out just to give yourself some more room to breathe there we go I'm happy with that so I'm gonna clip it down and it's in place. Ensure that it's secure and it feels pretty flat, and that's good to go. And this next step is going to be what allows us to place the, um, the entire thing on a mug, is we want to take these clips and just put them on the outside where these little notches are, there's three of them, and just slide it over the whole thing, making sure it's a joint, notch to notch. That's one, two, and three. Now, well, there you have it. There is your coffee filter. And um, this is at least just the base part of it. Um, this is the coffee filter paper. This is what's really going to catch the smaller particles initially and then any big particles of course won't make it through here but this is essentially just holding everything in place making sure that your coffee filter paper doesn't go through so what you can do now is grab your mug and prepare your coffee filter so once you have made your coffee filter kit be sure to give it a rinse under the water just to get rid of any little dust particles that might have made its way onto the filter um, and then from this point, you're going to grab your favorite mug. In my case, it is the Jeff Education mug. You're going to gently place your coffee filter in the center on top. Then you're going to get your filter paper, pulling the one tab, just giving it a, a little bit of an open. I like to fold the bottom part just along the seam. Just makes it a bit easier to go in for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, but I do prefer doing that. Um, but each to their own. Then you can just open it a little bit, put it inside your uh, the, the, the actual filter itself. And then in your, in your bag, we have given you enough coffee for two cups. So enough coffee, ground coffee for two cups of coffee. So all that you'd need to do from this point is pour roughly half your coffee in. Yeah, that was about half, there we go. Now put this to the side for tomorrow morning, you might need it. <laughs> and then the last thing you wanna do is just get it all down to the bottom. And you want to pour slowly. You don't want to pour too fast, pouring it all in. You want to pour slowly so it really gets that flavor and all the oils out of the coffee. Because if you go too fast, it's going to flood it. And uh, before you know, you're going to have a bad cup of coffee. So just nice and slow, 
Be careful not to burn yourself, of course. Maybe get an adult to help you with this if that's what you feel comfortable with. And just go nice and slow. Getting all the parts of the coffee, moving it in a small circle. Let it sit for a little bit and drip nice and slow. I'm gonna just change hands, it's gonna be easier for me. There we go. Just doing a nice little circle. There we go. At this point, I actually feel like I want a stronger cup of coffee. So, if you wanna do the same, grab your coffee and add a little bit to the mix. I'm gonna do so. Let's just put a bunch more in. And I'll save that for, for later. <laughs> there we go. Let's do it again. Nice and slow. And of course, be careful not to overfill your cup. As soon as you are, are done and you can see that the, the coffee is about a centimeter and a half from the edge of your cup, let the rest of your coffee just drip in and top up the cup to the end and that should be a perfectly great cup of coffee. Okay, I think for me, that is fine. I'm gonna do one last little pour and then I'm gonna put the kettle to the side and let it drip, drip, drip. Sometimes you have to be patient with these things. Let it drip, drip, drip. Oh, it smells good. It really does. Really, it does. Mm. All right. There you go. You can see it pouring down nicely. It's coming down in a, like a nice little golden color, and that is absolutely perfect. Let's let it drip for a little bit longer. And I think that's about fine. And then, once you're done, remove your, your coffee filter and enjoy a good cup of coffee. Cheers, till next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching, and stay curious.